Jakarta is the capital city of the Republic of Indonesia. Jakarta is a huge, sprawling metropolis, home to over 10 million people with diverse ethnic group backgrounds from all over Indonesia. <coughs> During the day, the number increases with commuters making their way to work in the city and flock out again in the evenings. Located on the northwest of Java Island, the province of Jakarta has rapidly expanded through the years, absorbing many villages in the process. In fact, Jakarta is a conglomeration of villages known as Kampan, now crossed by main roads and superhighways. Colloquially, it's known as Sukarno's Last Direction. The National Monument is a 132-meter obelisk in the center of Merdeka Square, central Jakarta, symbolizing the fight for Indonesia. It is the National Monument of the Republic of Indonesia, built to commemorate the struggle for Indonesian independence. Construction began in 1961 under the direction of President Sukarno. Monas was opened to the public in 1975. It is topped by a flame covered with gold foil. The monument and the museum are open daily from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. Western Indonesia time throughout the week, except for the Mondays when the monument is closed. Since April 2016, the monument also opens during night time, from 7 p.m. until 10 p.m. on Tuesday to Friday, and from 7 p.m. until 12 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. The main Sudirman Thamrin avenues in Jakarta lead to the Merdeka Square, where in its center stands the National Monument, also known as Monas or Monument Nacional, which houses the first red and white flag flown at the Proclamation of Independence on August 17, 1945. This flag has now become threadbare, and so nowadays on Independence Day ceremonies, the original flag is taken out, but only to accompany the replica flag to be flown in front of the Merdeka Palace. Merdeka Square is the center of most important government buildings. <coughs> During Dutch colonial days here was the center of government, known as Koningsplein or the King's Square. The north side is dominated by the Merdeka Palace, once the home of the Dutch Governor Generals, which now also houses the office of the President and the Cabinet. To the south is the office of Indonesia's Vice President, Jakarta's Governor and Provincial Parliament Building as also the American Embassy, while to the west is the National Museum, the Constitutional Court, the Ministry for Culture and Tourism and the Indosat Building, Indonesia's first international telecommunications company. The towering monument encapsulates the philosophy of Linga and Yoni. Linga resembles an alu rice pestle, and Yoni resembles a lesson rice mortar, two important traditional Indonesian tools. Linga and Yoni also symbolize harmony, balance, fertility and eternal life with the Linga phallic symbol, representing masculinity, positive elements, and daytime and the Yoni the female organ symbol, representing femininity, negative elements, and night. The Northern Pond was designed to cool water for the air conditioning system of Monas as well as to enhance the beauty of the surrounding area. To the north, there is a statue of Indonesia national hero Prince Diponegoro by Italian sculptor Cobertaldo. In the outer yard surrounding Monas, there are reliefs of Indonesian history. The story begins in the northeastern corner and describes events during eras such as the Singasari and Majapahit empires. The reliefs extend along the four walls showing the European colonialization of the Indonesian archipelago, various popular local uprisings, modern Indonesian organizations in the early 20th century, the Japanese occupation in World War II, the proclamation of independence, and post-independence developments. The reliefs were made from molded cement although several of the statues are damaged and have decayed due to weathering. Don't be satisfied with just seeing the National Monument from the outside, but take the opportunity to visit the interior, both the pedestal and the observatory at the top. Before or after entering you can take a stroll around the Monas as there's a very nice park with a fountain that offers a musical show and playground for locals and tourists to enjoy. You don't have to go far to see the deer roaming among the trees in the park. <coughs> The sculpture on top of the obelisk is made of bronze and weighs 14.5 tons. Q 
Curiously, the Litz engine is located inside it. The base of the fire, which is goblet-shaped, is 3 meters high and the bronze flame, made up of 77 sections, is 14 meters long. The most striking feature of the sculpture is its gold-colored fire shade, a shadowing to the fact that it has been covered with more than 30 kilograms of gold leaf, 